party. And that's when the Beach Boys, all those kids were there just watching for about two years, and then it all took hold, and then music, because everybody thinks this all stuff took hold in the 60s or the early 60s, it didn't. I created the Surfing Sound in 1956, 55, 56, and 57. I, I worked closely with, with Leo, like we, we'd, I'd go to his home at night. Uh, Leo was a fellow that didn't like stereo, he didn't like, fan, he didn't like uh, uh, um, trans, transmitters. I experimented the first transmitters with him uh, on the guitars, and he liked just plain single Monaro. We used to sit and listen to uh, um, Marty Robbins right. singing uh, at, in his living room through a little old 12-inch speaker. Um, now, when I was playing at the Rendezvous, when I would play, when we had 17 kids, it was okay. But when we had 4,000 people, the sound would be sucked up. There'd be no fat sound. So Leo and Freddie would come down and say, now this is what Dick is trying to show us. And he would hear what I was trying to show by the heavy staccato on the string. So we created the, uh, we blew up about 48 speakers and amplifiers. They'd actually literally catch on fire. The speakers would just burn up and, you know, they would, pulsate through and tear. I am playing through the same original speaker, speakers tonight, uh, when you hear me. I'm playing, they haven't been changed, it's the same ones, uh, the same everything. So I asked Leo, I says, can you put it down here? And he says, oh, Dick, it cost me 7,000 to make the jig for that. And about two weeks later, he was a, pr a present, he gave it to me. But the neck is a right-handed neck, so it's a left-handed body, it's a right-handed neck, and I play upside down backwards. He created first those amplifiers for country players. Right. And, the, and my hero was Hank Williams, and I cut my teeth playing country music. But I'm not a techni technician like the country players are. They're the most excellent players. So he ended up coming up with this output transformer that had a real beefy, fat sound made by Triad. And when, as I say, when he died, he took the secret with him. And, and I have the last of the ones that I have. I have the original ones. And we came up with the 15-inch glancing. <coughs> Uh, D130, uh, it's called the 15-inch Lansing D130F, meaning F for Fender.